One of the two Gulfstream G550 CAEW conformal airborne early warning jets belonging to the 14 degrees Stormo wing of the Aeronautica Militare Italian Air Force has been deployed from its home base at Pratica di Mare Air Base, near Rome, Italy, to Mihail Kogelnisanu Air Base, Costanta, Romania, since February 17, 2023. The airbase near Costanta already hosts the Eurofighter Typhoons supporting NATO Enhanced Air Policing Area South as part of the Task Force Air in Romania. Gladiator, the CAEW has been assigned to the new task group, Argo. The Italian Air Force has kept a very low profile on the activities of the aircraft from Romania but the missions over Romania and Poland 13 to date of the aircraft M60 2293 14-11 have not gone unnoticed. As for many other NATO assets operating in the region since the beginning of the war in Ukraine, the Italian CAEW can be observed online as it flies its surveillance racetracks on flight tracking websites, like FlightRadar24.com. In fact, the valuable Italian intelligence surveillance reconnaissance aircraft is one of the several NATO assets, including USEHJ STARS and RC-135 VW. British airseeker assets constantly monitoring the situation on the ground and in the air in Ukraine and along the borders with Belarus and Moldova. The Italian G-550s were already conducting surveillance missions over Eastern Europe taking off from Pratica di Mare Air Base, but the deployment to Romania has significantly extended the on-station time of the aircraft, saving around three hours of flight time needed to reach the area of operations from Italy in return. The special mission aircraft operated by the 71 Degrees Gruppo Squadron is much more than a flying radar. It's an airborne early warning, battlefield management and communication asset that can monitor a certain area for unknown traffic, manage allied missions as well as gather intelligence on enemy emissions with onboard electronic support measures sensors. The data can be shared with all the relevant players, including ground radar stations, other aircraft, ships, etc. In other words, it's an extremely high-value asset for both Italy and NATO as it is crucial to achieve the so-called information superiority.